All right, we're in the Make the Cut software, version 2.2.1, and in this tutorial, we're going to show you how to create these scalloped borders, all using the Make the Cut software, and it's all built in so that you can design these the way you want. So let's go ahead and get started. I have a clean slate here, and what you'll notice here is that there's nothing on there, of course, and you're going to have to go to the main window over here, click on that Custom Shapes tab, and click on this heart because we're going to be using some basic shapes that are built into the Make the Cut software. So let's go ahead and get our shapes going. Uh, we're going to need a circle, and so I'm just double click the circle. We're going to need another one of those, so I'm going to click it again. Uh, we're also going to need a square and a triangle. So, all right, those are the only uh, the shapes that I've used in order to create those three things that you saw. Um, now I'm going to bring the first circle up here and I'm going to go ahead and duplicate this circle to give us a nice row of, of circles. So I'm going to hit the control D to duplicate which is the same thing as autofill and uh, right there I put 10. You can determine how many of these uh, these humps that you want and uh, spacing I'm going to set to minus uh, point 05, just so that they overlap just a little, and I'm going to hit OK. Now once you have that, uh, we can go to the square, and since we're going to be using the square on this circle and the triangle, we're going to go ahead and copy it to our clipboard. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the copy button, because we're going to be using it later. Now next you can, you know, you can resize this uh, the square by using those handles. Uh, you know, you're going to push it up right against the first first circle up here and you can determine the height that you wish and you just drag it across till you, until it covers up that last circle and once you have that you can go ahead and select the uh, both the circles and that rectangle that you created and you're going to weld them together and that created your nice first scallop border so uh, as you can see it's going to be the same for the next two here um, you just resize this this triangle here. You know you can you can shrink it up like that, and you can go ahead and do the same thing. I'm going to hit Control D to duplicate. I'm going to keep that spacing in inches the same, and I'm going to hit OK. And now I'm going to get that square back. So I'm just going to hit this this button right here. It's called Paste in Place, and it's just going to bring my square back. And I can do the same thing. You know size up the square to the border width I want and go ahead and stretch it out alright that looks good and just do the same thing draw a bounding box around both of those and hit the weld button so alright so now the next one is, uh, is a little trickier but it's but it's pretty easy we're just gonna create a layer of the circle as you can see you have to have that inside hump uh, as well as the outside hump almost looks like a half an O um, but we're going to create it just using that same circle here. What I did uh, first was I, you know, compressed it a little and I decreased the size because this is going to be like the inside hump that you saw uh, right here. So that's that's what I did on the first one. And then we're going to just go ahead and hit the layer button, the shadow layer, and we're going to go ahead and increase it to the thickness that we like. Uh, you know, that looks good to me, and I'm going to hit accept. And once we have that, you know, you can draw a bounding box around there, and we're just going to join them by clicking that button right there. And we just do the same thing. We have to get our square for the border, and, you know, get that down here, and we can go ahead and autofill this, this scalloped border here by hitting Control D for duplicating. And for this one, you know, you can change the spacing to zero if you wish, just to see what happens. You know, you can play around with this stuff. You're creative. And go ahead and stretch this across. And you can even, you know, move it up some if you wish. And just do the same thing. We're going to weld those together. So that's just scallop borders in a nutshell in the short little tutorial. So with that, I'm Rob with ScrappyDo.com, and I will see you next time. Thank you.